take a while after not playing last year to get used to the everyday of camp or just because you've been doing it so long? Well, yeah, like you said, I've been doing camp a long time, so uh, <laughs> this is nothing new to me out here. Uh, but, you know, there's definitely uh, – my first day in shoulder pads was, was the other day, so, you know, that was a good feeling. the toughest part of last year? Not playing. <laughs> uh, you know, you just, something I've done for so long, you know, it's, it's been a, such a huge part of my life forever, it seems like. Uh, so not being able to be out there is just it's brutal. Definitely painful in that the team struggled as much as it did with that. Yeah, it was definitely, it was tough to watch. You know, I wish I could be in there and help out my guys, you know, help pull out a couple more Ws, but you know, that's what I'm here to do now. So you're not playing used to having uh, to overcome adversity, you know, year after year. It seems like you've had prior battles. Well, that's uh, that's part of this game. Uh, you learn at an early age that adversity is part of football. You know, there's you're never going to have a perfect game, so you just got to learn. Uh, you know, when you have your defeats, you have your losses. You learn how to bounce back from them. Is there a whole mental component that you have to deal with, you know, when you come back? It might feel great physically, but how, how does that work mentally? Uh, well, my injury's behind me now, so uh, mentally my getting prepared for these games is, you know, just, you know, getting myself ready to go. You know, uh, we've got a little over a month now for until uh, we play the Steelers, man, and, and, you know, it takes a lot to be ready for that. So, you know, that's why that's why we have training camp. I'm out here every day trying to get better mentally and physically. There's a, I think there's a great level of competition on the D line. You know, there's there's a lot of guys in that room right now, and we know that there's there's only so many positions available on the 53 man roster. So uh, I think from top to bottom, everybody's going out every day competing for a job. Son Danny is a rookie. How has he changed to where he is now? Uh, well, Danny always had great, great habits. I think even as a rookie, he, he really treated it, treated this game like a pro. Uh, and you know, you see, you see growth in that. Uh, he had great habits, but now he's doing more and more things. He's being more vocal. He's being more of a leader. Uh, and you know, it's it's, it's great to see that he, him transition like that, uh, especially on the field. You know, he he's kind of settled down a little bit. You know, I think in college he was a little bit more of a raw. You know, physical talent, uh, but you know, I think he's really learning the game, uh, which is really going to help us all out in the long run. Do you think he fits in the four three? I mean, they drafted him to be that you know big guy in the nose, but can he play that four three? In the Greg system? Absolutely. There's there's still a nose in the four three, so uh, you know he'll, he'll definitely be in there eating up double teams just like he would have done in the three four. It's, it's pretty. It's very similar to uh, very similar position. Yeah. What do you think of Miles so far last year? Miles uh, has an unlimited amount of potential. Uh, he is a very, very talented player. You can see it from day one uh, out here. And, uh, you know, he, I mean, the sky is honestly the limit for him. I really see great things for him in his future. Uh, he's just got to, you know, stay healthy and, and continue to learn about the professional game. Are you enjoying kind of mentoring him a little bit and kind of taking him under your wing and showing him everything you know? Absolutely. I, you know, where, when and where I can, I like to throw him a little bit of advice here and there. But, uh, again, he's already very, very good to player. So, you know, I, you don't want to mess with that too much. Kind of let him go out there and play and, and learn from his mistakes. Desmond, uh, Greg Williams' defense is noted for aggression and pressure on the quarterback. Exotic blitzes. Uh, but do you see in him the ability to stop the run that this franchise hasn't been able to do recently? Absolutely. I think if you look at uh, the track record for Greg's defenses, they're, they're also very good at stopping the run. And, uh, you know, I know just his attention to detail, his 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 passion is just unparalleled, I think, in, in coaching. Uh, so, you know, anytime there's any small little mistake, he's on your head about it, you know, and that's just going to help us be better players as a defense as a whole, run and pass-wise. And you've been through so many different defenses and different coordinators. Is there anything in this camp with Greg Williams that you're doing on the practice field that, that you haven't seen before that you say, now that makes a lot of sense? I haven't I've seen that before. Maybe everybody does the same thing at this point. Um, 
I mean, NFL defense is pretty similar. There, there are some small things, uh, some small adjustments that I think that, that Greg has that are a little bit different than, than other coaches would have had. Uh, but, you know, it, it, all in all, it, it's pretty much the same. Uh, I can say that, you know, the packages that we have are, there's a lot of them. Uh, more so than I've had before. So yeah, we'll have different guys running on and off the field all the time, and that is just good offense. It's something else to think about. We've heard a lot about kind of the nastiness and the change in attitude offensively. Are you seeing that in some of your teammates now that they're really embracing this kind of new look? <clears throat> Absolutely. I think Coach Greg brings a nastiness and an attitude, and that kind of permeates throughout the rest of the defense, undoubtedly. Uh, you know, we had that goal line short yardage uh, practice the other day and I don't think they got a first down maybe maybe one uh, on a pass or something but in terms of that was a run defense but you know I think that that's going to really translate to the season you know he really holds us to a higher standard uh, kind of a standard of perfection that I haven't really seen before in my coaching uh, and I think that you know guys are really buying into that and it's going to pay off in the long run. He has a, a very good awareness of rushing, uh, his innate abilities, uh, one move in particular, he can dip his shoulder and, and run the corner like, like nobody I've seen in a long time. So, uh, you know, that's just one thing, uh, you know, Miles, Miles is, a, is a physical, a, aggressive guy, you know, and he, he's definitely out there competing, you know, some might think, you know, first round or first overall might be out there, you know, slacking a little bit, but Miles is out there to work and get better. I would, I would imagine sitting out a year would give you a, a greater appreciation of what you have now. Is that kind of how you feel in coming back, that knowing how quickly it could all go away? Absolutely. Uh, last year this time, I was, I was standing on the sidelines watching practice. Uh, matter of fact, I was in the trainer room. So uh, it's, 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 when I was sitting there, I knew that, you know, once I got back outside, how, how amazing it would feel. And, and now that I'm back, yes, I have so much greater appreciation for this game. You know, you never know when your last snap is. You know, I, I could have not made it back, but I was fortunate enough to be able to be back. So I'm going to cherish every moment while I'm here and try to do the best that I can. Can you imagine the possibilities uh, of you, know, you being out there, uh, you, Miles, and Daniel, and Jamie? I mean, are you just kind of envisioning what this could be? Uh, absolutely. I think that we have uh, a tremendous amount of rush potential. And, you know, once we get all those pieces working together, it'll be a very fluid situation for, you know, not just, not just the guys you mentioned, but, you know, the guys that are behind us coming in there, too, and everybody going in there eating kind of like uh, like they do up in Seattle. And, say, uh, and I mean, do you feel as determined as ever? I mean, you, you, you know, you're sapping like crazy in your last couple of seasons. Are, is that who you are going to be this year again? Or do you have even more? Uh, I have even more. Uh, one of the things I've kind of tried to pride myself is on is uh, getting better each year in this league, and I think I've done a pretty good job of that. Uh, and so, you know, that's definitely my goal again this year. You know, I want to be the best player, the best Cleveland Brown that I can be. And uh, and I've been waiting for this for a long time, so I think it'll be a little bit easier to do so this time around. Um, after that first practice, everyone was talking about the first padded practice. Everyone was talking about the, the running game and how great it looked. Run defense still needed work, but the last two practices, defense has come out, especially in the short yard. And the short yard. Mm -hmm. First of all, how much paint did Greg Williams peel off the uh, off the walls in the film room after <laughs> Saturday's practice? And, and, and second, is that just emblematic of you guys as a unit responding to him? I think that, yeah, that's a very accurate uh, assessment of the situation. Uh, Greg definitely got after us, and we were able to respond. But, uh, you know, I think you can't really get focused too much in on one practice or even three practices. You know, this is a process uh, that's going to take time. Uh, and fortunately, we have a leader who's de dedicated to really making us be the best that we can be individually and as a defense as a whole. So I think that we'll definitely see some growth over, over the next month uh, and going into the season. impact does it have on you knowing that, that Hugh Jackson, you know, he says you're one of his favorites and you know, he's got the history with you and, and such a comfort level. Uh, well, I'm, I'm glad to hear that coach thinks so highly of me. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, he doesn't really go around preaching that to me so so much. But uh, no, we definitely have a, a closer relationship, I would say, than uh, than I've had with coaches in the past. You know, uh, 
he has been a, a great you know coach and mentor to me when I first signed here he was one of the first people to call me uh, when he was back with Cincinnati so uh, you know it, it's it, it feels good but uh, you know that just really comes with more expectations of him for me so and I already have sky high expectations of myself so you know I think it's gonna really help to push me to continue to like I said continue to get better be the best player that I can be when last year you came in you wanted to be uh, such a leader on this football team and that was interrupted is that your goal again this year yeah I think uh, I've already I've already stepped into that role you know I'm, I'm definitely the what I said, the elder statesman on the D lineman I, by a long shot, I feel like. Uh, so, you know, I, I try to do what I can to bring along the younger guys and help coach up, you know, where I can, you know, bring the guys together, get, you know, D line dinners going on, stuff like that. You know, I think that that really helps the team, you know, at that bonding really helps uh, even perform on the football field. Are there any challenges from having that little layoff there from the injury of uh, trying to be somebody who's a leader and then you have to go and kind of do your rehab? Uh, so when I first came back, I would say, you know, I was a little bit hesitant to go out and start, you know, throwing around, you know, okay, I'm the boss around here. You know, I felt like I had to go on the field and show, prove it. Uh, you know, we've had a couple of days of practice now. I went out there and made some plays, let it reminded everybody who forgot new guys who are here, you know, who I am. And now, you know, I, I've been more vocal about things.